So we're going to be taking a look at Aurora Cannabis once again, and I did make a video on it a little while back, but I don't think that that video went too much in depth. So I made a graph, and we're going to be doing some projection, is it, projections into the future just to see where this company could be in a few years. Uh, so yes, yeah, so let's get into the graph. So first of all, I took the data from 2015 and 2016, the financial quarters, and I made it into a graph. I did the number of shares outstanding, which you can get from every single quarter. And you know, go through the quarters, find the amount of shares. Uh, very quickly, something weird that I found. So September 30th of 2016 is labeled as quarter one, but then the end of 2016 is labeled as quarter four. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why the quarter names are not consistent. I don't know why there's a gap in between them. I assume that they changed the way that they labeled the quarters, but I'm really not sure why. But the amount of shares is consistent, so it's okay, I guess. It doesn't really matter that much, but whatever. Uh, also, they Aurora stopped releasing their things on Sadar, their quarter financials, and they're releasing them on Newswire now. So, I don't know why, but that's how it is. Anyways, so as I'm making this video, Aurora currently has about 300 million outstanding shares right now. And in my graph of 2015 and 2016, uh, so we have all these data points which then creates a trend line and the trend line captures this current value fairly well. So if you extend this uh, this graph, by the way, these are quarters, so quarter 1 of 2015, quarter 2 of 2015 and so on. And this is the number of shares in millions. So if you extend this line all the way to today, which would be 2, two away from it, so a 10. So this is the equation of the line if you plug in a 10 where x is that would give you the amount of shares today. It undershoots this number a little bit, which is good because we're using an exponential model and eventually it will overshoot the amount of shares. But anyways, if that doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. It's not too relevant. Just this model is okay to, pro to project the amount of uh, shares that are going to be in a year from now. Uh, but anyways, in a year from now, we're going to be having about 520 million shares, according to this graph at least. I'm going to bump that down a little bit we're just gonna say 500 million 500 million outstanding shares as a as our example but at 500 million outstanding shares Aurora cannabis is going to be worth about I did this in, in the US calculations but in you in the US money it's going to be worth about uh, two point one point two billion dollars and in Canadian that's going to be 1.4 billion dollars so it's not exactly unreasonable and yeah so that's not a very unreasonable price considering that let's say two years from now uh, they're going to be fully finished with their Aurora Sky, fact, Aurora Sky uh, greenhouse I, I actually don't know exactly when they're planning to finish that but let's say two years from now just to be conservative or trying to be conservative here assuming that things will go wrong and stuff like that but let's say two years from now they're producing a hundred thousand kilograms per year annually at that price I'm going to be trying to use some visuals here, but at that price, uh, at a dollar profit per gram, they're going to be making a hundred million dollars profit per per year, which is pretty good. And at a hundred million dollars profit, hundred million, there you go. So at a hundred million dollars profit per year, this company, I think it's fairly safe to say that two years from now they'll be they'll have a price earnings ratios of about thirty, maybe forty. And at those earnings ratios, this company would, would be worth about uh, three or four billion dollars U.S. U.S. money. And at those prices, you can expect to have about 150 to 200 percent gains from this price. So it's actually not looking it's not looking bad at all for this company. It's looking pretty good if everything goes properly. If they expand now, currently. They are doing about half a million grams per quarter, and if they're at full capacity, they're going to be doing 25 million. So that's 50 times more than they're currently doing. And assuming that everything scales up properly and that there's no bad expenses or that, you know, economies of scale, which is, you know, being too big for your own good, assuming that none of that somehow goes wrong, then these guys should be a fairly nice company to, uh, to be a part of should be making good money uh, they're also expanding into other markets the the Australian market the Germany market I don't know if they're quite expanding yet I think that these guys are more focused on Canada than than those markets I know Afria is expanding 
Afria and Kwanis Group are looking into the German and the U.S. markets, but I think Aurora is more focused on Canada. Uh, but anyways, if it's functioning at full capacity in about you know what two years from now, then you're actually going to make a decent uh, de decent profit by buying the stock. So that's actually fairly interesting. I didn't expect for the numbers to actually line up so well when doing this. I thought that it would be worse. But yeah, it's looking pretty good for them, which is interesting. And I think that's all that I wanted to say for the most part. Uh, but as you can see, like quarter one of 2017, they had 23 million in working capital. Quarter two of 2017, 60 million in working capital. So they are expanding fairly aggressively. I think they they just got another like 75 million in, yeah, 75 million in stock dilution. They got another 75 million. So I mean, they have plenty of money to expand. Investors still are throwing money at them, and yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing what this company ends up about a year or two from now. I'm generally curious if, if everything will go the way that it is currently expected because, you know, whenever a company has to expand 50 times in terms of its sales, uh, it's always interesting because there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Like 50, ti 50 times what you're currently doing is a lot. And it's going to be interesting seeing whether or not they they can do it at a at a reasonable price because... I don't know. How much will it take for them to work at 50 times? I don't know. If it takes too much money, that's obviously not good. But uh, Yeah. Anyways, I hope this helped. It was just a quick projection. There's not really much more to this. For now, all you can really do is just sit around and wait until the company finishes expanding. And, yeah, wait for legalization. Once that happens, then these companies should start making some decent money. They'll actually be making profit. And that profit will actually be driving your stock up genuinely it's not going to be hype it's not going to be anything of that sort the profit will actually give you value and the value will actually cause your stock price to go up which is what everybody is waiting for because right now i mean at a measly 3.4 million in revenue not even profit they're losing money right now uh, but right now they're not really making anything so they're not generating any value so you gotta wait before that happens but anyways yeah hope this helped if it did leave a like and that's it